Hey, what's up, DOT community? Uh, been a busy day here uh, within all of the different networks for Dawn of Titans, and uh, I just want to bring you some information. Again, this is Fandral uh, of the Asgard Alliance. Just want to bring you some updates on this awesome Trials of Power we're seeing coming uh, out in just a couple of hours. With it, I want to just uh, share some information of things we have that we know a little bit more about now. Uh, not going to say it's all guaranteed because we're just getting snippets of information. And since this is an all new event, uh, Trials of Power still has a little bit of mystery behind it on exactly what it's going to look like. But I want to bring some information of some things that are going to be coming up. So looking at this, uh, before I get too deep into it, I just want to uh, you know, ask all of you guys, uh, DOT community, help me out. Go down, hit that sub button give it some likes and i also like to get some comments from you guys so we can uh start to see you know what are people thinking what's going on uh and i like to know what you guys are thinking of these videos uh, what else i can do to help you guys out understanding this game a little bit more uh on that note uh if you haven't yet uh be sure to join our uh, line chat uh you can find me online with the id dot fandrel uh, check out all the information and things that are going out there on band. I'm going to give a shout out here to some guys that have been helping out. Not going to drop names because I don't know whether or not they want it, but uh, some of the guys out there are non-toxic. Some of the guys out there on my band chat, some of the guys out there uh, on my line chat that have been uh, helping to kind of share some information of what everyone's picking up. And I'm trying to give you a pretty comprehensive look of all this information together. I hope you like it. If you do, hit like, please sub. Uh, let's take a look at some of this information with Trials of Power that's coming up. One, we've got a sneak peek. Uh, shout out to DBR, who got his hands on the trailer. Uh, I've put a link to his video down below. So if you haven't seen his trailer video yet, uh, be sure to check it out because you'll get a chance to see it before it's dropped on any other channel. So head over by DBR. Uh, give us some snippets, but I've got a few segments here uh, from that trailer. Uh, able to just kind of slow it down, catch some screenshots, and maybe break down some information so we can get to know about it. So we know more about the event now. We know a little bit more about these elixirs that they're talking about. So I've got some shots here of stuff that's been floating out there. Again, kind of trying to gather it all together. Uh, we're going to take a look at what these elixirs can do. Uh, ones we've seen so far. Don't really know if they're the entire list, uh, but it will give us a better perspective of what's happening there. We're also going to get a chance to talk a little more about Urukar here, which is the uh, new four-star uh, king of the Unax, uh, and what we've got happening with him. I've got some interesting information about where the devs have already snuck him. You actually can get a chance to battle him now if you wanted to, um, based on a little bit of more game information. So we're going to check that out. Uh, also going to talk about some other news that's been going on with some of the most recent updates to the game. If you haven't found it yet, uh, it seems that the updates are available to all Android and iOS players. So I'm going to break down a little bit of in-game action of what are some of these updates and changes we've seen to the game if you haven't noticed them already. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, again, going to just try to break down quite a bit of things that have been going on with it. Um, but let's go ahead and start talking a little bit more about what's happening. Now, with this uh, Trials of Power here, T.O.P. is an all-new game style. We know that it's a wave of enemies. A few things, again, just to recap, we know is that uh, the more that you defeat the enemies that uh, populate, the more points you accrue, and the uh, more possibility of points. So the faster you kill any of the troops that are in that battlefield, the more troops that generate the more points you get. It's all based on damage and death to the enemy troop. We also know that troops will not generate behind you, so there's going to be no drops uh, like that. We know that there's going to be several spell drops, so a few things to keep in mind going into this. Bring a couple of Panthers, I'm considering two myself, and start thinking about what you can do to deal the most damage. Are you going in there with a champ who can uh, take a beating and give a beating? Are you going to go there with an infiltrator who's stacked nicely to be able to swiftly kill out? These are strategies you're going to have to start considering, and stay tuned for some different battle uh, from several different players uh, as this event starts to go live. We also know we're going to get a sneak peek at this from the devs tomorrow, so be sure to catch that live stream. Uh, but with it, it's still all new. We're going to be looking at this land coming up out of the clouds uh, and giving us just an all-new element to this gameplay, which I myself am pretty excited about. We haven't really seen something new like this. It's going to be different than the soul event because it is going to be individually based and not alliance based. And there's a few assumptions I'm going to just kind of make out of this that 
uh, may have changed the perspective I've had in the past. Uh, so let's talk about uh, this whole event. Uh, again, we know that it's getting ready to drop. This image here comes uh, from earlier in the day, uh, but we know that it's a few hours away. Uh, as of right now, we're looking at under 12 uh, when I'm posting this video. Uh, but again, you can get this announcement here actually in your game. You can go ahead and check that out. Uh, we also can get a screenshot here uh, from what the trailer that DBR uh, shared is it looks like this might last around a week. So we might have a solid seven days. We're going to see the rank as far as total points go. So I'm wondering, is this rank what's going to secure you with the Urukar as that final victor? Uh, but you'll notice that it gives you point total. It shows you when your next reward, which we're going to look at that in a moment, it's going to show you your high score. And we can also see that these elixirs are now available in the temple. So if you have updated, you would already have the ability to purchase these. But I'm going to throw out some... Uh, words of caution a little bit later uh, that be careful with what you do with these elixirs too soon. Uh, it's just a theory because I don't have it confirmed yet. I'm still waiting on confirmation, but um, be sure to just kind of uh, pay attention to some of these uh, cautionary tales I give you in a little bit. But we know that we've got a rank, individual rank now, so that's something to pay attention to. But Looking at this uh, gameplay here, we do see that we actually have tiers similar to soul events. Now these are pretty massive, 70,000. We're looking at about a million. I think that's about 7 million. And what is it, about 10 million or so? But then we also see these individual tiers, 10,000, 15,000, 2,000. So what is actually going to be achieved at each of those bigger mile markers, we haven't seen yet but only a few hours we'll find out. But these individual milestones, the 1,000 range, uh, we are seeing that the first one's going to be 1,000 gems. Then you're going to actually start earning these elixirs through the battle. So do you necessarily have to purchase them from the temple? It seems not, but it looks like you might have better elixirs available. But let's break down some of these elixirs there are. Here we can see an attack and an armor, but I'm going to run through a few that I've been able to capture some information on. We have the attack elixir, which is going to come up first here. Uh, here we've got the uh, four star that's available. And here we can see this looks like it already comes pre-maxed, kind of like souls. You're probably not going to be able to forge them. But at max, you've got two slots, 80% damage for all troops and 80% damage for titans. Okay, and it looks like you'll probably be able to sell these because they've got a value of 200 like any other relic. So these probably will be equipped just like that. But we also see that there's a 2-star available, which only gives you 30% damage for all troops, nothing for your Titan. My bet is this is what's probably going to be available as you work your way through those 15,000, 20,000 mile markers. I doubt they're giving 4-stars too early, probably going to come later. Here we have a health elixir. Uh, this one here, percentage is different than the attack. We're looking at 70% health for all troops, 70% health for your titans. So the four stars don't maintain the same percentages, and you'll see that carry through with some of the others. Again, I do have uh, an image of a two star that's here looking at the uh, health elixir two star. This only offers a 28% health for troops. Again, nothing for your titan. Uh, so if you are going to roll in there with the Titan, if you happen to have these two stars, you're going to have to consider that starting out with these lower elixirs are not going to benefit your Titan. So be ready to roll with your troops. Uh, up next, we have the critical elixir, which is another one. So we've had attack, we've had health, we now have critical. This is going to in, uh, increase your critical chance of attack by 50% for your troops and 50% for your Titan at the four star level. Again, pre-maxed it appears. Uh, don't know what the two star offers yet. I haven't seen that one, but I do have another four star armor elixir. This is a pretty good percentage, 60% boost for your troops and 60% boost for your titans. Now the one thing to kind of pay attention to is notice how each of these has said when attacking. Because it's a relic, you're really going to have to be uh, cautious of what that offers. But looking at these kind of actually in your inventory when you acquire them, uh, again, notice you can't forge them, so this is probably going to operate just like the souls. Once they're used, that's it. It's a one of one, but you will be able to sell them for 200. Will you be able to forge them into another relic? Don't know yet. We'll be able to find out soon. Not my screenshot, just so you know. Uh, but here is my cautionary tale. Uh, someone sent this through our line chat. Uh, notice zero of one. All right, this armor elixir, uh, two star, 36% armor but it's already at a zero of one 
which tells me, and I'm assuming, that this person might have already equipped it to a Titan, went into battle, and used it up, which would suck. So don't be that fool if it happened. Uh, be careful with these. It looks like they might be able to be used prior to you entering the Trials of Power. So watch out for that. Make sure you don't put them on there and accidentally use them uh, before you even get into that wave of enemy event. Uh, but I want to show you how you can actually acquire these. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch to some in-game content. Alright guys, so here we are in-game. Uh, and let's take a look at this first thing of acquiring these elixirs, uh, which you can already get your hands on, even though the event has not started again. I'll just confirm you here. Uh, right now I'm at just under the 12 hours as mentioned earlier. But you can actually go ahead and go to the temple, and you already have some elixirs available. Now I'll also call out this very first thing here is you're looking at uh, this different arrangement to the uh, overall setup of the temple. Uh, a few things I've noticed here is like even my screen, you know, they've had a few bugs here uh, with this update of what the image was behind it now, you know, words that don't quite stay there with you. Uh, but starting out, you can see that uh, the, the daily bonus is shifted. Uh, we have this new daily Titan. I'll talk about those in a moment, but let's focus on these elixirs. Uh, we've got a 2000 uh, chance for a four star, which we know these chances are pretty low. Uh, and uh, that's going to give you the opportunity to access some of these different elixirs. We also then have the epic elixir, uh, which is a 10 times chance for four stars, but we know that that's not always great. Um, but look at that cost, 18,000 gems. I'm sure someone on Reddit will probably calculate what these this actual percentage is. I don't do that kind of math. It's 10 times chance I don't have 18,000 gems and I'm not buying them. So I myself, as a little more of a free-to-play kind of style player, uh, I'm going to earn my elixirs through the event, uh, not really going to drop them. If I find myself that I'm really getting close to grinding out for that last reward, uh, maybe, maybe I might go for the 2,000 at that chance, but uh, I'm going to honestly probably bank on the fact that I won't. Which also brings me kind of the point is, as you grind through this, uh, noticing it that there was that what was that, almost 10 million style tier, I'm curious to know is if as you complete that 10 million battle damage tier, is that going to offer you Urukar, or is it strictly going to be based on rank? This is something that's still kind of TBD. Uh, is Urukar just going for number one rank person? I, you know, we'll find out in less than 12 hours. Or is Urukar going to be available once you reach that 10 million? battle damage uh, tier level. Uh, really interested to see how that goes because I think that'll really impact what we do as players. You know, do we are we aiming for the first rank? Are we aiming to complete it? Uh, I know from a lot of the chat I've been going on and hearing and I myself am really looking forward to what some of these relics are because we still have heard that there are new relics. Now, are they considering those these elixirs? Because we didn't see anything else in that um, trailer as far as a new relic goes. Uh, so we'll see, uh, you know, what's happening, what's going on. Still a lot to find out. Excited to see what happens in a few hours. But uh, let's also shift gears here. Uh, coming out of this uh, trials of power for just a moment is that's kind of that's where we stand. That's what we know. Uh, again, live stream. Some more stuff will be coming out tomorrow. And my goal would be to get you a video uh, tomorrow as well on what we finally get to see about T.O.P. inside the D.O.T. But let's talk about some of these most recent updates to the game. Uh, what's going on? Uh, since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and call out this temple. Uh, as I already mentioned, we see uh, realignment in where things go. So don't go into autopilot and start clicking and scrolling. Uh, we see the daily bonus is shifted up to the very first thing. I like this myself because now I don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to get to that daily bonus. Uh, we're seeing this new daily titan, which is a chance for four star. That is only going to cost you 2,000 gems. And if you purchase this... Uh, you have to wait another 24 hours until you can get to it. So you get one per day option uh, to purchase it, cheaper gems. Not noticing what the difference would be between this other item that just says Titan for 4,000. Now, I'm assuming this one here, you can purchase this as often as you want. Does it offer you any better chances? I'm not thinking, but I think that's what the purpose of this is. For those players that just want to purchase and purchase and purchase and get those Titans, well, at 4,000 gems, you can do that as often as you want. But if you want to go with a cheaper access to a Titan, you're spending 2,000 gems, 
you only get to do that once a day. So that's kind of your different you know, pros and cons of what you might be looking for. You're looking for cheap and just picking them up when you can, or you're looking for something where you can purchase as many as you want, using that more as food and fuel for your fusion, uh, which we've got some updates on that. Uh, we still have our level 15 through 40 chance for four-star Titan. We still have our epic relic uh, and our chance for another relic at about a thousand there. So uh, some of the same stuff going on here, uh, but again, just shifted realignment and see what we've got happening. Some other things just talking about uh, inside uh, some game updates uh, is we've uh, seen fusion get a little bit of a change. Uh, I don't track the numbers. I don't know the percentages. I don't always really remember it. Uh, but if someone might know the actual change in value, uh, feel free to post it in the comments. would greatly appreciate it. But if we're looking at Titan Fusion, uh, use a Venom Tusk as an example. Uh, many people are reporting that going in and fusing Titans into them, uh, the cost of fusion has gone up. Uh, whether that is massive or based on a percentage. I don't know that math. Uh, I really haven't paid attention to the numbers, but we're certainly hearing that the cost for fusion has gone up. I'm not actually going to fuse any of these guys, um, but that's something that we see as possible change. Uh, we're also seeing uh, change here to relic fusion, uh, that if we go in and uh, let's work with, sorry, not fusion, but forging, uh, that using, I'll, I'll stick with some four stars here. Uh, people are saying the percentages have gone up, but the cost has also gone up. So when you are uh, forging any relics, you might be spending a little bit more food to actually work on getting them. But hearing that they're increased a few percentage, maybe from even seven, eight or nine up to a 10 or 11%. So even that little bit of benefit is great, uh, but hearing that it's coming at a quite a bit higher cost um, could maybe be a little off-putting. But as you work your way up, I know like I myself literally sitting on... Um, over a million food. I have nothing I can spend it on right now because I've got troops going. I've got spells upgrading. I'm literally just sitting on a million food. So as you work your way through it, I don't think it's m that much of a challenge uh, unless you're a little bit more of a lower level player. Uh, again, probably castle level 10 or lower. Anything over that, I think you start to accrue a little more food. Uh, I myself right now, I'm castle level 14 and I'm sitting on food and coin that I'm just not maybe ready to spend yet, although my coin I recently did. Uh, so kind of pay attention to those uh, uh, and you know just see what's happening uh, with your food and uh, with your forging and fusion. Again, if you notice any major changes, be sure to put them down in the comments. Uh, another thing I want to talk about here, just kind of keep this rolling pretty quick, uh, is a little uh, change in troop cost. So recently we had 100 troops uh, cost, but they've uh, changed that with the update. Uh, many players even reported before they even download the update, they saw those changes go on. I want to point out just a few of these. Uh, I'll call some out here uh, and head into my barracks. I'm just going to work my way through the list, starting with the Goliath, which is where I first noticed this big change. Uh, I know, and I am currently even have just that discount on them, so I'll just switch it over. Currently, full price level 13 Goliaths are costing me 9300 Now, I know that was a massive drop because I was spending over 11000 prior to this update even with a levy applied to it. Uh, I know just looking at the Gamepedia on this one here, which you could probably reference for your own troop comparison, chances are you might not all be at level 13, either above or below. Uh, but I know looking at that, uh, in the past, Goliaths were up near uh, 12,000. So we've seen about a 3,000 reduction in this. Uh, Pikes currently right now with no... Uh, no reduction. We're looking at 4,900. These pikes used to be up near 10,000 uh, and change. Uh, Panthers at 3,900, which I think is actually a pretty good drop um, from what I believe they were in the past. Again, using some uh, online database reference, uh, not knowing if that's necessarily most current. They used to be at about 8,000. So we're looking at almost a 50% cost reduction for those Panthers, uh, possibly. Our uh, Unex here, full price, 6,200. Uh, they used used to be uh, close to maybe about 15 at level 13, uh, if I remember close to that, because I know when I drop them, I think I was spending around 13 on them before. So again, close to a 50% reduction. Uh, Spearman, full price 3,100, used to be around uh, 45. Archers right now, around 37 at uh, level 13. Uh, they used to be, I think, a little closer to 7,000, so we're seeing a pretty good drop in them as well. And Militia, who, uh, one of my last to upgrade here, 
at 2200 they used to be a little over 4000 uh, and again close to 50% reduction in some of these troops I think the only one that hasn't seen the massive reduction are the Goliaths that they uh, didn't quite that one uh, cut that one quite as much as the others uh, but again you know that might vary per level, uh, what you're seeing going on. I, I think it might be good if you guys want to just check your savings. Uh, head on into the uh, PDF for the uh, Dawn of Titans, and you might be able to get some true comparison on what you yourself have actually saved. So that's one thing to point out as well. I think it's good. Now, here's my skepticism to this. Is this only going to last during the Trials of Power, that they're allowing them to be a little bit cheaper in case you're burning troops in the uh, waves of enemy. Uh, after that, will it go back to normal? Uh, not going to be uh, you know, too much of a skeptic here, but that thought definitely crosses my mind. Will they go back to original full price when we no longer are maybe using them up as much? Because that Trials of Power, basically, you get to go for 10 minutes or until all of your troops are eliminated. So... Uh, I think we'll just see what happens. Uh, again, time will tell. Right now, it's a good thing. So uh, I'd still say, hey, take advantage of it and stock up uh, as you can when you need to. Uh, last thing I just want to point out in this update video, uh, a few things that I've noticed is uh, a bug that came up when looking at uh, profiles. I'll use our, our own alliance as an example here, uh, that if you go into your members, uh, and pull up this list, you'll notice that the top right uh, corner, you lose the X, the ability to go ahead and just close out of this. So what do you do from here? Uh, some people are saying that they were just basically forced closing the game, but here's a tip to allow you to get past that, is if you go into your uh, profile, uh, and if you actually open up any one of the resources, now when you close out of here, you have the ability to get all the way back to that screen uh, and be able to open it up. So a little extra step, but hey, it beats force closing if that's what you've been doing. Uh, hopefully that might help you out if need be. Uh, other than that, I'm going to give you this final tip about Urukar that I mentioned earlier. If you want to battle him now, uh, one of uh, fellow line chatters here uh, shared that in the very last campaign mission, if you, uh, which I myself still have plenty of work to do, um, lately I've been focused on it because they've fixed some of the bugs and whatnot to it. But the very last campaign mission of Nexus, that they have already added Urukar into the very first mission of that level of the campaign. Uh, so you can go in there and already get a chance to battle him, which um, from reports say he's very easy, uh, went down in one or maybe two hits, uh, but you get a chance to see him in action if you want to, if you're close to there. Uh, they've already put him in the campaign. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you want to get a chance at him a little early, or if you'll be working your way through this and still have time to go, eventually you will get your chance to battle him uh, in the new campaign update. Uh, so this is Fandral. I'm going to end this here. Let me know what you guys uh, think of all this information. Stay tuned for more Trials of Power updates. Uh, again, sub down below. Please like, share this around. And if you want to, feel free to join us online. Uh, and of course, always looking for good grinders uh, in our alliance. Uh, currently uh, making the push to get into Masters next season. Uh, right now we're sitting in the promotion zone within champion, uh, holding holding a pretty good solid lead on a fourth place there. Uh, so that's still going to get us a nice three star. If you're looking for anything, uh, feel free to comment down below or message me out online. All that information is there. Uh, good gaming to you guys, and I will see you the next time when Trials of Power goes live. This is Fandrel. Later, guys.